What is up, you filthy land hovers? <laughs> Just kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? This is amazing. Harrison Go is here. He is first. This is like the first time anyone who's ever said first in the comments was actually first. How amazing is that? Jeremy Ethier. Ethier? Ethier? Tristan Jack, Anonymous Unknown. Oh my gosh, I don't know who that is. Um, Bryce Bendig is here. Tantan, Eager Cloth, Tristan Jack, did I say that already? Cannon's Crush, Alex Squilini, JNM Beans. My goodness, we got a lot of people. Austin Gaming, Rodney A, Tanner Free, Cades Vatina, AZTT Ta, Cheyenne Martin. How do you use the popper and the walker thing? Ooh, reel in and uh, tap tap your rod. Make it go up. <laughs> exactly, 69 life. Man, let's let's give that. Let's do that as a start. Changed your hat. That's right, G Madrid. We totally did. Brian the Gamer is here as well. Boohoo 2006 and Zachary Wheat. Smash the trash. First like who actually cares that they're... <laughs> Some people do. Some people do, okay? Well, I'll tell you what, everyone. Um, today is a big day because, uh, you know, we've been doing the Halloween missions. You all know this. You all know this. And, um, and basically, today is like the first day that they actually started putting out the Halloween 2020 event. Um, so we're going to see down here. I'll show you what we're looking at here. Franken hunt, the Franken fish hunt here. Uh, I'm an abominable monster fish out here made of different fish. Um, we need to catch it in San Joaquin, but we do need a bunch of other stuff in order to uh, be able to catch it. So that's what we're going to be going after today. But you get this monstrosity kayak, which is really cool at the end of it. Um, there's also a scary kayaking where you can get some polarized sunglasses out of it, or they're called vampire, uh, vampire glasses. I don't know if they're actually polarized, um, but yeah. Uh, so basically, we're going to be going off to try and get this witch book. If we can get the witch book, then perfect. That's amazing. Squish is here. Good to see. And Matt. Hello, hello. And uh, and if we get the book, then we're going to go off and we're going to try to do the scary kayaking at Emerald. But uh, yeah, without further ado, everyone, we need to get this book. Let's go get the book, everyone. We're already at Quanchkin Lake. Let's uh, travel here. Then we need to just switch to nighttime. Switch to nighttime. Boop. Ah. Oh. Time to get serious. Put on the serious hat. Okay, top notch. We're going to go into... I'm sorry if everyone wants to join in, but we're actually going to do a private room this time around. When is the next Hunter Call the Wild vid coming out? Good question, Bryce Bendick. Probably after all the Halloween stuff has gone on. Because we're kind of busy. Kind of busy at the moment. Oh, we do have a witch's treat thing. I was wondering where we, we were going to get all that stuff. Um, so basically, the mission right now to get the witching book is that we need to uh, go to dark. Then we need to catch catfish on sour bread, moldy cheese, and dried locusts. So, uh, yeah. First off, we're going to switch the time to 9 p.m. And then we're going to start fishing, everyone. All right, 9 p.m. Oh, look at that. There's already a jack-o'-lantern. We should go, oh, what? We should totally go. Okay, never mind. changing the plan. We're going off to find jack-o'-lanterns first. There's one way over there. Where are you? Oh, there's one over there too. Ha, ah, we found one. Hello, I found you. Oh, it makes sound too. What the heck? We got moldy cheese. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're off. We gotta go get another one. We're searching for jack. There's a lot of jack o' lanterns over there. Ooh, ooh, spooky! What did the jack o' lanterns do? They give us, uh, they give us uh, lures. I'm guessing. Boy, there's a. Uh... Golly, they make scary sounds. Oh no! Oh, we can turn off the. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if you can hear that. We got a, a hawk claw. Silicon spider, four inches. Sour bread there. Oh, we got sour bread from the group of jack-o'-lanterns there. Okay. Ooh, it got real dark without the light on. That's spooky. 
Okay, okay. So we got a few over there. I did. I do see that one jack o' lantern over on that way. Let's maybe we should just move on straight to that one. We're losing our fishing time. Oh, there it is. We got a bat wing. That's interesting. Okay. I'm not sure. I think I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was gonna say I think it's this one. Here's the last jack o' lantern. A candle end. That's exactly what we needed for our uh, our Emerald Lake. Is it Emerald Lake the first kayak venture? Let's uh let's switch back over here, and now we're gonna start fishing for catfish. Let's uh, throw this out here, and then I've got moldy cheese on this uh, cat boxer rod, so we're gonna throw this puppy out. Whatever you do, don't eat the bag, w the bat wing you just got. Oh, okay. Yeah, very true. That's not that wouldn't be good these these days. <laughs> before before this year, it would have been totally fine, but now it's not good. Gonna be a full moon boy. Oh god, there's a spooky uh, set of eyes that showed up over there. We already got uh, some nibbles. Let's throw out the sour bread now. We're gonna find out if the uh, catfish like one bait over another. <laughs> you regret the grapefruit juice? How could you regret the grapefruit juice? Alright, and we're gonna throw this one over here. So, bloop. Okay, we got three rods out. Now we just wait, and now I can catch up on the chat. What has been your favorite Halloween fish to catch? Good question, Fabian. Um, let's see. Uh, I think the um. Oh. The one, uh, one of the fish I haven't had in a video yet has been my favorite one to catch. And it was because the water was so clear that I could actually see it go up to my hook before I caught it. And that just made it so much fun for me. But, uh, this most recent one was also really fun, but for a different reason. More, uh, nervous wreck. I was, so, it was so suspenseful that, uh, when I finally caught it, that made it really exciting. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on there. Why does Squish have a mechanics badge? It's because she's special. Spooky. It's Chase. How's it going? Hey, guys. It's been a while. That's true. Very true. Stop the spread. Stop, stop, stop the spread of this information. I have no idea. Uh, hello again. Comrade Doge is here. Hello, hello. JJ is here as well. Squish, are you a member and how? Yes, there is a down below. There should be a dollar sign where you can become a member. It's cheaper than on Twitch. Usually you have to pay uh, five dollars to be a member on Twitch, but to be a member here on YouTube, it's only a dollar ninety nine. So it's two bucks. You could be a member to two channels for the same price as on Twitch. So yeah, pretty cool. And then you get to use all the cool BZ Hubby emotes and whatnot. We're getting nibbles, just not they're not biting anything. I'm gonna let out some lines so I can check out our rods. Come on, catfish poles. Any second now, one of these is gonna take off. I just know it. I just feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. Another unique snook. Ooh, very nice, JJ. My name is Smash the Trash. <laughs> Spooky Hum Day, very true. Isaiah, hello, hello. And Wade Goswick, hello. Goodness gracious. Come on, catfish. Come on, catfish. We might be using too large of hooks, but I was trying to... I was trying to get the uh, bluegill to not go after the hooks was my goal. But I don't like how this is not getting, we're not getting any bites. So I might switch to a smaller hook just to try and get more bites. Let's uh, let's try a number two odd hook. The small, the hawk claw. I'm not sure how this works. 
Some say that even a Quanchkin witch uses a hot call for landing her trophies. Ooh, maybe we should try that. I don't know. Oh, we got more nibbles. More nibbles. Bo, I, I like your hat. It's lit. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. King Doge, how's it going? Not too shabby, man. Bryce Bendick, how is your dog? My dog is great. He is just living life, living the life of a king, you know? Classic King Bjorn. Sweet dreams are made of moldy cheese. Hopefully, once we catch a catfish, goodness gracious, it's awful slow right now. I thought we would be catching some uh, channel cat by now, but no, we haven't caught anything. Been getting nibbles. I think I'm gonna reel this in. Whoa, spooky eyes. Yeah, that's why I do not want to have. I don't want to get snagged. Ah, dang it. Thank you, Water Lily. Thank you, thank you. Lost our bait. All right. I thought I would give this spot a try for some channel cat, but I should have known that we should have just gone with the old faithful channel cat spot. The old faithful ch the catfish spot. What were we thinking trying something different? Never be different. Be like everyone else. Oh hell King Bjorn. <laughs> That's perfect. That's awesome. Say Embargard. Embargard. Dag Force One is here. How's it going? Let's move. We're moving spots already. Fight the system. Fight the system. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. All right, here we go. All right, throwing this out here. Moldy bread looks like a moldy potato. That's okay. You be yourself. Don't have to be like anyone else, moldy potato bread. Let's throw this one out somewhere close by. Do you have infinite bait when you buy it? Uh, no, you don't. It's a, uh, you only have a specific quantity. We only have 8.65 thousand subs. Bjorn is, Bjorn is good. Bjorn is good. Alright, catfish. Alright, catfish. We're gonna try that. Ooh. Cat or dog, which one do you like best? Ooh, I like, I'm a dog guy, man. Why do you think I have a dog and not a cat? Come on, come on. You think I would say, oh, I like cat best, and then be like, I don't have one, though. I like, I have a dog. Why would I do that? Hmm? I haven't been here in a while. That's okay. It's Chase. You do what you can do, man. I'm not going to hold it against you. <laughs> Justin Part, how's it going? Ethan T has arrived as well. And Brian Johnson. Hello, hello. Danny Lenock. Is it Nock? Am I saying that correctly? We got a ding. We got a ding on the bobber. Oh, and we got beeps on the on the other one too. Is there gonna be a Christmas fish on Christmas? You know, I honestly have no idea. I haven't been around for that long, Tristan Jack. <sighs> So, hopefully, you know. Gosh, nibbles, nibbles. Just like uh, the last one. Danny, sounds good. We can go with Danny, man. 6'9", channel catfish on a, get this, six pound line, no flex, but also huge flex. <laughs> Usually with catfish and gar and stuff like that, um, there is a pretty big... Um, uh, space between the line that you need to use and the size of the fish. I remember when we were using 
uh, a 17 pound reel uh, with probably 16 pound line, yet we were catching a 43 pound or 45 pound lake trout at a White Moose Lake. So there's some fish that has a pretty large uh, difference between your your rod size and the in the size of fish that you can catch um, without breaking your line and whatnot. Less than a month away, right? Very true, man. Yeah, I am. I am excited about it. You guys aren't taking the bait. I am too. Why wouldn't they be loving a dried locust, huh? We're getting so many nibbles. They're just not taking it. Not sure what the deal is. We only need to catch 18 fish during this stream. So far, we've been streaming for 16 minutes and we haven't caught one. That's a pretty... That's, that's, that's on. That's on, that's on. Karsten Murphy, hello! Oh, we got one on the cat boxer. Or no, that's the, uh, that's the Brutus. Right on. We got one on the moldy cheese. All of a sudden, things have changed. And we're now catching lots of fish. <laughs> Alright, so we got one on the dried locust. Oh no, it's a bass. Frick you, bass. What are you doing, bro? Gosh dang it. I'll try to catch a bass. Dummy. Come on. What bass? Spotted bass, man. Should we throw one out somewhere else? We try over here or something. Bass got confused and crushed the crashed the party. I know, right? There's his Christmas sturgeon, trout, and musky. Okay, right on. Do you ha do you do friend service? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we do. Um, not tonight, unfortunately, but usually every stream is a, is a, uh, is a friend server. Come, come fish with me, lots of fun sort of thing. What's a good line for catfish, man? Whatever you can use. You can catch a catfish, uh, with any line. Um, you just need to use the right hook. Oh, we got a, we got a, got a ding on the bobber. Ding on the bobber. Shrimp on the barbie and a ding on the bobber. That's the green jello bobber right there. Come on, green jello bobber. When are you going back to the Everglades? Not sure, man. I'm not sure. Uh, we might end up going back there for one of the Halloween fish. I think one of the uh, one of the Halloween fish is in the Everglades, so we might end up going there. We'll just have to see how these things go. It looks like a little blue catfish. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. One on the dried locust, then. That's not too bad. Just move slightly. So, yeah. Austin Gaming has a cat, and when I go to sleep at night with my door closed, she always wakes me up scratching at my door one in my bedroom. <laughs> Classic cat mood. Yeah. A nice random surprise. Carson Murphy. Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. We ran out of uh, Halloween music. All of our Halloween music disappeared. Oh, we got we got beeps. We got beeps. Um come on. Show me good Halloween. Halloween music. Horror beats. This could be interesting. Oh. Got nibbles on one of the lines. Tristan Jack's dad caught a bowfin last night. Right on, man. That's awesome. You know my my streaming schedule better than your school schedule. That's not good. 
Thriller again, Bo, make it happen. Oh, we can't play copyrighted music during the streams, though. During YouTube streams, anyway. I mean, no, not during any streams. We can't play them during any streams, because copyrighted music equals bad. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely not. Not, uh, YouTube streams. Have you ever been to Milford Lake in Kansas? Yes. When I was a little kid, we used to go there all the time. My grandparents used to take me there. In fact, uh, my great-grandfather, the owner of this good old hat here, uh, used to take me there all the time. We used to go out in his boat in Milford, Kansas, catch striped bass and white bass, walleye. Um, yeah, it's a great time. Had good memories at Milford Lake. Flacco Kills Gaming is here. Hello, hello. Sharon Riss is here as well. Hello, Sharon. Finish up your homework, but nah, you can do a little bit of both, Danny. I mean, it's pretty slow. We're, we're literally sitting here waiting for catfish. Come on, man. Harrison Go has hit a roadblock. I'm practicing my viola, and I've been commissioned to play all about that bass, and I have no reference to work on. Apparently, we have a CD, but my parents just don't understand. Because I'm all about that bass. I have no idea, dude. I'm not... I'm not musically inclined i don't understand notes and whatnot treble clef treble clef what is that i don't yeah i don't i'm not i like i like music my brother likes music more but uh but yeah i've never been one to play like sheet music and stuff so i i'm not i'm, I'm afraid i won't be much help there harrison <laughs> The hat that doesn't fit your head, like you said in a previous video, honoring your grandpa. Very true. It's very true. The backstory. Oh. Getting nibbles on both of them. Oh my god, we're getting nibbles on all three rods within like three seconds. Caught a 10 pound catfish in mud water. Right on, Brian Johnson. That's awesome. I'm just going to have to live here 30s behind. What do you mean, Squish? <laughs> what the best gusting animal that you have killed? The best hunting animal that you have killed? What do you mean there, Tristan? What? Squish! Don't you do this to me. Squish, thank you so much, my gosh! Happy Halloween to you! Goodness gracious. No in the house. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much, Squish. Seriously. We'll definitely have to get uh, Halloween uh, alerts and stuff like that for next year. I'm not going to have enough time to do it this year, but it would be really cool to get it for next year. We should have like seasonal alerts and stuff. That would be awesome. Squish always has the big donos. It's because Squish is awesome. Okay, everyone knows it. Dylan Rosler, been so busy with everything. Hey, it's okay, man. You do what you can do. Like I said, I'll never hold it against people for missing streams. It's not a big deal. As long as you show up at some point and say hi, that's 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 fine. Rapids is here. Hello, hello. We're getting nibbles out of the Yahoo on this green jello bobber. But it's yet to take it. Just keep hearing all these dings. No one wants this dried locust for some reason. Speaking of which, no one wants the sour bread either. What's the deal? Coming back to Lone Star Lake for the Mad Eye Buffalo. Right on, Carson. That sounds awesome. Get mad with hunting is when you're hunting and don't see anything until you get driving and see some deer on private property. <laughs> yeah. Yep, understandable. What about a Christmas alert for this Christmas? That might be kind of cool. We'll have to see how much time I have. That would be neat, though. Jeremiah Fishing and Gaming. Can I talk to you about something? Oh, I suppose. I mean, I'm here. I'm here talking, you know. Elaria Costa is here. God, I about said Hill. Is here. Hello. Hello, hello. You haven't been here for over two months? Dylan, it's okay, man. I'm just glad that you're here now. That's what matters. I'm trying to figure it out, but I've been stuck for weeks on homework, and I'm just stuck. You're just stuck, man. 
Cannons crashed his hunted for two years and never killed a thing. Gosh dang it. What are you fishing for this stream? We are fishing for catfish with uh, sour bread, moldy cheese, and dried locusts. The Halloween, the Halloween stuff, man. And it is slow going. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy in. Anything big? Not at the moment. I'm not even trying to catch anything big. Maybe that's my trouble. Maybe I need to throw on a, a big hook. And, uh, and that'll help me catch a big blue cat or something. Unfortunately. We got, uh, four-aught hooks on both of these guys. Four-aught hook on this one. Let's toss it out here this time around. Whoa, we got nibbles. Nibbles. I was really hoping we would be able to catch these fish rather quickly, and then we could go do the kayak thing at Emerald Lake. That's what I was hoping. There's still a chance, everyone. Fingers crossed. Oh, we got a nibble on the on the bobber. On the green jello bobber. A <laughs> jack o' lantern in the background. <laughs> That's my type of jack o' lantern. Ding. Speaking of jack o' lanterns, see that? How sweet is that? Huh? Tell me. On a scale of 9 to 10, tell me what it, how cool it is. Gave us dings and then didn't do anything. What the heck? Hey, no problem, Harrison. Something that made me sad today. Aw, oh, that's not good, Jeremiah. Yeah, we've gained a lot of cool people. It's great. It was luring with a lift drop, then a pike literally came up and I missed. I bet it saw me. Maybe. You know, those pike are really uh, visual fish. Rely on their eyes a lot. How's everyone been? I, I hope well. Why do you stream when I can't be there? Why can't you be there when I stream? <laughs> who's who's this about? Jordan's found someone. Big C. Found the big C behind the, the grass. Thank you so much, Big C. Thanks for the subscribe. Appreciate it. Any tips for you for Grizzlies on Yukon Valley? Absolutely, Dak Force. Um, you'll want to go down to uh, the. It's kind of the not the absolute bottom right lodge, but the one above it, and then just travel along that river system all the way down, all the way down and to the left, basically. Is that pumpkin real? No, it's a fake pumpkin. Allows me to, uh, to, for it to last longer, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Here we go. Here we go. We got something on the locust. Please be a catfish. Please be a catfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Young channel catfish. That'll work, man. That will work. I'm not sure if we should be fishing over in the uh, shallower area. Maybe that would be better. You know? Mm, let's give it a go. Let's... We've been fishing over here. We haven't caught very much at all. Might as well. What's stopping us? We've uh, tried one spot. We've tried another spot. If anything, we might switch the time because I think our time for catching the big fish is, uh, is kind of running out as well. Your crush got mad at you. Bro, that's why they're called crushes. It's because they crush your heart. <laughs> don't don't get too upset by it. You know, crushes they don't they don't last, bro. They don't. They're just there to mess with you, and uh, and and just 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 mess with you, man. 
So don't take it, don't take it seriously. BZ, what is your biggest fish in fishing planet? Oh, it's a tarpon. 119 pounds, I think. All right, I think we're gonna find a channel cat over here. I hope anyway. We're gonna fish these little inlets and see if we can pull anything out of here. Oh, dang it, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Jeez Louise, come on, he knew. Plant, I hate it too when it happens to me. Sometimes I suppose something and it takes a minute to get his response. And when I think he hasn't responded yet, I start messaging and then he responds. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> Be playing this, especially in public. I'm absolutely terrified because typically learning a new song takes me months and I have three days plus school. Ooh. Three days plus school. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> I think I found me a good channel name, so that do you think of digital outdoors? Man, go for it. Go for it. I mean, if all you want to do is digital stuff in the outdoors, then go for it. What lake is this? I can't see. It's Quanchkin Lake. We're over at Quanchkin Lake. I think it's in Louisiana, right? I think so, anyway. Work, my god, is paper heavy. My goodness gracious, Squish. That's not good at all. That sounds, that sounds, that sounds tiring. It sounds tiring. Makes me want to yawn just thinking about it. Jaden's Plays, how's it going? Oh, we got nibbles. We got nibbles. You make me smile, thanks. Hey, good bro. Jaden plays as early in the stream. That's right, man. First half hour almost. Oh. The first Halloween intro legitimately scared you. <laughs> oh my god. I think in a creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> squish is too strong to be I mean yeah I mean anytime anyone tries to crush squish she just squishes she just goes and then she expands again like a sponge so it's impossible to, to crush squish BZ can you stream every day please um yeah if you can make a deal with my fiance so I can stream every day I totally would dude totally would <laughs> if you fish at Maroon River for catfish, I'm sure you'll beat your biggest tarpon, but Maroon River is expensive to travel to and for the license. Yeah, I can't fish there yet, Austin Gaming, so there's no point to talk about it. Because <laughs> I'm only level 44, so, you know, keep up, bro. Come on, haven't you been watching the beginner series? Don't you know what level I'm at? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Just finished eating some ice cream. Oh, now you've made everyone jealous. Leonardo. Hello, Leonardo. How are you? How'd you get all the bait? Well, I'll tell you. Um, you could spend 20 bait coins on getting 13 of each bait type. Or you can shell out $5 and get a ton of bait. I did the latter uh, because I have a stream to do tonight. And uh, yeah. Need to make sure I have enough bait for the stream. So, yeah. When will you fish for catfish in real life, bro? I wish I could go fishing for catfish. Yeah. This weekend. But I think my parents are coming this weekend, so I won't be able to. Unless I can talk my father into going out. We'll see. I don't know. How's it going, Bo? It's not going well at all. Well, we've caught three catfish so far. I don't understand what's going on. We've been trying different spots, but they're just not biting anywhere. <sighs> this is our third spot that we've tried and we did not catch a single thing. Which is probably the, you know, the point. 
They probably wanted to, to give us a quest that seemed simple, and then, and then you realize that it's not simple. So, uh, yeah. Probably gonna lose our moldy bread here. No, we still got it. Oh, what the frick, you stupid? What the frick, you stupid? Alright, give me that back. I want this. When you were fishing with your grandpa's pen fishing rod. Oh, well, thanks, man. I enjoy I enjoy catching little bluegill. They're just so readily readily available. If you have a half hour to go fishing, just go out to a little creek with some small worms and whatnot, and just catch some bluegill. It's a ton of fun just to go out fishing. Okay, um, I'm not really sure where to go, guys. We're just not catching fish. Three catfish and a party crash and bash, bash, bash fish. I'm Sean Connery. Um, here we go. We're back out at the place that we were at least catching catfish. Better than not catching anything, I guess. Get that going. Right on, Timothy. Just learned my favorite childhood YouTube got COVID. I'm literally watched them for seven years. No, no. Poor, poor childhood YouTube. Look at the map and look at the deepest spot. Yeah, that's what this uh, little green marker out here actually represents. That is the deepest spot in the lake. Um, so that's why I marked it. So that's where I usually throw out. Eerie. All you need is bluegill and Kool-Aid chicken. <laughs> Fish in the creek behind my house. Super fun to catch. Yeah, exactly, Carson. It's perfect. You're a professional in fishing and trying to catch a blunt nose minnow with a minnow as bait, but it's not working. I don't know why. Yeah, I would not use a fish that is the same size as a fish that you're trying to catch. You know, probably not going to work. Um, blunt nose minnow, probably what? Red, red worms or uh, blood worms or uh, semolina balls or something. Look, uh, look in your in your page and see what the blunt nose minnows are gonna go for, Green Sando, and then put that on your rod. Phases in Elite is forty five. Right on, man. You could buy the new DLC Fishing Planet and get seven days pond passes. Ooh. Can we see the exclusive doggo? Maybe, maybe some point. Maybe at some point. If we, uh, if we can catch all 18 of these fish, I will totally show him. But, uh, if not, then we'll just have to figure out a good time. You should do, for the last Halloween fish, you should paint a piranha on your face. Let me look at my notes here. I'm pretty sure the last Halloween face, or the last Halloween fish was not piranha. Nope, it's not. Darn. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I have an entire list of uh, all of the fish and what we're going to be doing for the episode. Um, but yeah, every single video is planned out. I just have to do it, basically. At least you did catch catfish. It counts. Very true. We've got nibbles on this other rod, but by golly, we're just not getting anything in here. Come on. Is Bjorn dressing up for Halloween? Ooh, Bjorn does have a costume. He does have a costume. Um, that would be pretty funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. What's going on right now?
We caught a freaking golden shiner. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. A blood nose shiner? Are you serious right now? Or a, a freaking golden shiner. A blunt nose minnow and a golden shiner. Good God. Why? Why? Yeah, you see, Demothy, I don't like spending money on the game. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to just pay to go somewhere when I can just level up for free and then just go there when I get to that level. So, that's what I'm going to do, man. Where are you fishing this lovely evening? Quanchkin Lake, man. We're trying to get the witching book, but we need to catch catfish in order to do that. And uh, currently, we're not catching any catfish. Zachary Miller, you're a Quanching Lake or whatever body of water it is. Yes, indeed. We're going to throw this out over here. By golly. I used to always say top notch a lot. Ooh. Better not be another Shiner. That's all I can say. Oh my god, is this another Shiner? Better not be another Shiner. Please be something besides a shiner. <gasps> Is this a little channel cat? Is a little channel cat? Yes! Let's go! Get wrecked, channel cat! Okay, right on. Not excited about that at all. We've got one on everything right now. We just need... Five more with the sour bread. Five more with the moldy cheese, and four more with the dried locusts. Forty nibbles, three catfish, a bass, and a stupid shiner. <laughs> That's a solid update. My god, they're really going for this now. There we go, something a bit larger. Oh man, starting to get nibbles on the other rod too. Here we go. They're going after the sour bread boys. <laughs> there we go. That's our largest one of the night, I think. <laughs> Four pounds. I have small hooks on. I'm just trying to get something small. Who disliked? I don't know. Probably the same person who, like, dislikes my Halloween videos every time I put one out. Probably someone who asks me every single time, when am I going to put out a hunting simulator 2 video? Or when's the next Hunter Call of the Wild video coming out? That's the type of person who would probably dislike it. Look at that! Boy, we're getting them now! Pour it in, boys! Pour it in! Catfish Master! Two bait coins! Woo woo woo! Okay, here we go. Back out there. And all of a sudden, we just caught, what, three? Got three, right? Right? I can count. One, two, three. Thirty-two pound flathead in the Heron River a few days ago. Right on, Austin. That's awesome. By golly, way more. Seventeen pound flathead in the Heron today. Right on. Boy, we got another nibble on this bobber. Am I late? I had homework. Man, homework comes comes first. Don't you worry about it. I really thought out of all these baits, the moldy cheese would be doing the best, but uh, currently it's doing the worst, which is shocking. <sighs> the new Pike Slasher vid really helped you. Right on, dude. That's awesome. I'm saying he says, by golly, more. By golly. I just don't know if that's true, Alex. Really, any fishing one. Well, right on, man. I definitely say right on more than anything. And that's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. Oh. 
another catfish on the sour bread. Let's go. All right, we're at four. Or, oh, that's three. Dang it. Thought we were at four. Free cats? Who's got free cats? Ryan Polkinghorn, how's it going? Vivid Visionary is here as well. Series, my favorite series that you're doing at the moment. Well, thank you. It's kind of the only series I'm doing at the moment. So I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I don't have any other time to do anything else. It kind of like became a thing like two weeks before I like th I, I like came up with the idea and I like shoved everything to the side and I was like, no, this is what matters. I'm now doing Halloween. I'm doing a Halloween series and that's all that matters in my life. <laughs> These challenges are annoying. Jake S. Hey, it's just the way. It's just the way. This is the way. This is also comes out October 30th, by the way. Mandalorian Season 2. Who's excited about that? Love you, man. Ryan Polgan. I love you, bro. Where you are, it's 615. Well, it's 816 here now. But I'm guessing it was 815 when you said 615. Have you tried closing out Flint and then coming back to the live stream? Squish Flynn is a two, full two and a half minutes behind. I'm a full two and a half minutes behind reading your comment. Goodness gracious. This all started out by me saying he should make an emote that. Yeah, very true. <laughs> but we got dings. We got beeps and we got dings. Beeps and dings. Beeps and dings. Let me tell you, son. Life is about beeps and dings. Maybe one day, you'll have a beep or ding of your own. Come on, Jello Bobber. Do something extraordinary. Do something extraordinary. It's not doing anything. It's, not, it's just sitting there. Lame. I think the problem is that we're using the green bobber. I think we need to switch to the orange bobber. I think that would change everything. You know? Ding. Oh, fish. Fish on, fish on. It's a small fish. I think it's still a channel cat though. Shuttle cat, catfish. All right, we've got uh, four on the dried locust. Still two to go. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Will you do a Christmas series? Well, it depends on if there's uh, any Christmas missions. Maybe, not sure. Yeah, me too, Vivid. Sorry, video on the Bass Boat Explorer Pack video, but I'm still debating if I should spend $40 on it. I always don't have enough money in the game. Could spend $40 at Bass Pro in real life. Very true. Depends on if you fish in real life more than you fish digitally. You know? How many times do you go out fishing a week versus uh, fishing in the game? You know, and uh, have you spent any game, uh, any money on the game so far? If you've been playing the game for free all this time, then uh, you could just make it a $40 game. I think we got ourselves a little blue catfish here. Boy, look at that drag right up towards the top. Goodness gracious. A little 12 pounder or something. 16 pounder. That works. We got, we need to get one more on the dried locust here and then we will be set with that one. Logan Linton, what are you saying? Kind of dumb you need bait coins to do this mission. I mean, yeah, but they give you bait coins all the time, you know? And I haven't been spending them. I, I never know what to do with my bait coins. And, like, I never buy lures or bait because I usually unlock it um, and can buy it with regular monies. Here we go. Here we go. Got something on this rod. On the moldy cheese, finally. Boy, I tell you what. 
during the height of the night when we, when we were supposed to be catching lots of fish, we were not catching any fish. And now that it's finally like dipping down and we shouldn't be catching as much fish now, we're catching all sorts of fish. A little 20 pound bluegill, maybe? Or a blue cat? No, 19. Close. <laughs> bluegill. Hey, blue cats have bluegills, right? Right? Someone stand by me. Oh. There goes our bobber rod. That might be the last one for the dried locust. Let's see. Let's see. Might be another spotted bass. I don't know. Kind of looks like a little channel cat, though. There we go. Uh, dried locust down. Halloween dance. Halloween dance. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we can take off the dried locust now and we can put on... Let's do moldy cheese, I'm guessing, because we're just running out of... We're, we're not catching as much with the, with the moldy cheese. There we go. There we go. Got one on here. This is the sour bread, I think. Let's go. Pump key, unfortunately, just doing a private one this time around. President of the United States, how's it going? Young Channel Cat on the sour bread. That's what I like to see. What do you use to stream, Bo? All sorts of stuff, things. All sorts of stuff, things, man. You know? All sorts of things, stuff. Just make an email that says, Bye, goalie. Right on, bro. Or top notch. <laughs> you got a bluegill skeleton? Right on, dude. I need to catch some of those. I'm guessing one of the next missions will be catching a bluegill skeleton. Blaze orange is an awesome color. I like to wear it in the fall. Right on. Logan Linton, I totally saw it, bro. Think I should recast the cheese? Look at this bobber. It's doing something. I swear. There it goes! I saw you. I saw you moving. I saw the line moving. What do we got? It's a channel cat. Channel cat. Whoa! <laughs> There we go, another one on the moldy cheese. On the moldy cheese. How often do you ever get to hear those words uttered at, in like the same sentence? Another one on the moldy cheese. It's fantastic. Oh, spooky eyes. I wish I fished more real life. My mom hates buying me stuff so close to holidays, but I really want to go fishing, so hopefully that works out. Hey, heck yeah, man. 8.30. Sounds good, Smash the Trash. Oh, blue cats have yellow gills. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. That music should be your fighting music. Oh, yeah? The music you just played. Is this the only challenge you're doing tonight? No, I had, uh, and I had another idea that I wanted to try. But, uh, yeah. We'll give it a go. Pumpkin remembers when we had 3k. Such a milestone. Thanks, man. I hope we hit 10k by uh, Thanksgiving is what I'm hoping. The way we're growing, I really hope so. What do pond passes do? So, um, you have to buy licenses to fish at uh, ponds or lakes or whatever it may be, rivers. Um, and if you have a pond pass, then it doesn't matter what level you are, you can fish there. Um, so for instance, with the blue crab isle, even though it's like level 54 or something like that, when you can finally fish there, um, if you had a pond pass for it, then you at level 12 could go fishing at blue crab isle. Um, now if you don't have any good equipment, then it's not going to do you any good. But, uh, usually if you buy like an equipment pass or something that has equipment and pond passes in it, 
usually that uh, equipment will help you fish where you get the pond pass. So, yeah. And in the left, we have multi cheese. <laughs> you should make some reaction videos. It might be interesting. There we go. A little 6.908 channel catfish. Getting nibbles on this rod. We need uh, two more on the moldy cheese and two more on the sour bread now. Hey, Megan is here. Right on. You hubsters. And Red Bull and you are hype right on. I have no idea. <laughs> Jaden's plays is level 56. Oh, are you saying that uh, Blue Crab is level 56? Got me a little A pointer this past weekend at 30 yards, shot in the spine at the hind legs, so I had to shoot it again. Understandable, Jackson. Sometimes happens, man. I remember my first, first buck. Actually, the one on my wall. I actually shot in the spine. But, you know. My father said, oh, at this distance, I think you're going to need to aim at the top of the back. And I aimed at the top of the back, and I shot it in the top of the back. So, <laughs> so he was wrong, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's okay. We still got it, though. Cheese is the winner. Cannon Scratch, what did you miss? Oh, you missed, uh, what? Six plus eight? Fourteen fish? You've missed fourteen fish. But luckily, you can still catch the last four. We got beeps over here, and we got the bobber, the jello bobber over here. Come on, fish. I love how the challenge is just, get the book! <laughs> It's like when you watch a great British baking show and they're like, yeah, we want you all to make Swiss rolls. And then the directions are just like, make the Swiss roll. And then that's all they give them. Ah, got ya. Tricked ya. That's a good beep right there. That's it. No movement, just beeps. Goodness gracious. Ruin grenade, how's it going? How many catfish? 12? No. 14. We need to catch 18. Two more on the moly cheese and two more on the sour bread. I think I'm going to reel this guy in. Reel it in and throw her back out. Harrison's night has henceforth been ruined. Why is that, Harrison? I'm going to throw this out over here. Oh, Megan lost, left her glasses at work. No. No. I'm going to throw this back out. Comrades got an announcement. You would love to eat 440 pounds of fish. Look at all those chickens. Because he saw me moving, so I took a shot. I sneezed twice, and he came in. I thought he thought my sneeze was another deer snorting. <laughs> That's funny. It didn't end well. Gosh dang it, Harrison. What were you thinking? That's okay. I'm, sh I'm sure they still like you. I mean, they might not love you anymore, but they still like you. Like, like they tolerate you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Love is in the air. Can't you feel the love tonight? I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Just got another bluegill skeleton at Lone Star right on. <laughs> Way to let down the room. Candace Crush, you're my favorite YouTuber. 
Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Baby, don't hurt me. Level 5 Gemsbach was a troll. Gosh dang it. Better be in the Discord. Oh, is the best. I was confused about something my dad had said, and it escalated quickly. This happens at least twice a week. Sometimes parents get mad, man. I'll tell you what, my my brother and my parents used to get mad all the time. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. Something something about my brother's face, I think. He just has he just has argue face. And my parents just uh just always go and get him. And I would just sit there and just smile. Hey, I'm here too. What's up, guys? <laughs> and Flinter are my favorite. Hey, right on, it's Chase. Appreciate it. Comrade Doge has an upgrade for us. Very nice, okay? No competition, Jaden plays says. Hey, thank you. Oh, beeps. I like the sound of beeps, but not when I'm fighting another fish. It all of a sudden slowed down. We caught a bunch of fish, and then it slowed down. Again. Duh. Oh no, I'm scared to open it. <laughs> Very true, Megan. As you, he has argue face. Smash the trash, you found a gold gems block? Ooh. I had the same thing happen to me as it did to you, so I caught my biggest fish, but my cabin could only hold 15.4 pounds for one fish, but 66 pounds in all. And. Dot, dot, dot. I caught a 17 pounder. Hey. We got a ding. We got a ding on the bobber. Ding on the bobber, everyone. But the line's not moving, so I don't think we got lucky. Dang it. Telling Zach you said that. Okay. <laughs> I told Zach he needs to be streaming. He's playing Call of Duty like a ton right now, but he's not doing it. All right, we ran out of Halloween music. Need to find another. Uh, need to find another one. Do 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 do. Boy, there are so many Christmas albums. We are gonna be so set for our Christmas stuff. Ooh, here's a here's one. I'm digging this. This is Halloweeny. Nice little Halloweeny tone. You must have caught all the cat. I think we did. I think we caught all of the catfish at Quanchkin Lake. Gosh dang it. This was such a joke of a challenge. It didn't even give us enough catfish to catch. Stupid. Turn on spoopy scary skeletons. Ah. Oh. Uh, I think you know. I actually the the funny thing is, I actually looked that up not too long ago. When uh when spooky scary skeletons will become uh public domain, and I think it's uh 2072. I think. I think it's like 2072 or 73 or something like that. Uh, spooky scary skeletons will become public domain so anyone can use it in their stuff so we just have that much that much more to go everyone my brother unfortunately doesn't have a YouTube gosh darn I've tried to get him into it and he's just he's a sour puss about it goodness gracious he does have a twitch though Zacchaeus on uh, on twitch but he's not on YouTube, unfortunately. Wii Sports playing in the background. There we go! Catfish! 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 Of course, the cat boxer caught a catfish. Look at that catfish. Here we go. All right, we're down to one on the moldy cheese. We just need one more.
Well, I'd say you have wet socks now, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure what else to say. <laughs> School pictures next week, and I'm fuzzy. Only if you want to. Only if you want to. I mean, I wouldn't... If your face looks like a cloud, then I, w I would definitely shave. <laughs> it's okay to have a nice beard, but if you're looking bushy, then I then I would shave. I don't know. Cold Stargy, how's the fishing? It's okay. We've caught, uh, 16? No, we've caught 15. 15 out of 18 fish. We're doing okay. Carson Murphy. <laughs> You're at the Everglades. What bait should you use? Just depends on what you want to fish for, King Doge. What do you want to catch? Power build is here as well. Sorry that you're late. Hey, no big deal, man. You haven't missed much other than 15 fish. No shave November. Yes. Missing Zazu. Yeah, what the heck? From Bob's video. Who's Bob? Tell me who this Bob is, Zachary. <laughs> Haven't done this event yet. Is it with Original Fishing Planet and free or what? It is. Yes, it is. Um, I will say that it costs about 20 bait coins to do. You need 20 bait coins to buy the bait for it. But once you have that, then you're good to go. At least for this part. I'm not sure. Oh man, Smash the Trash has got to get on it. What's your project over? More like holy cheese. It does... If those, if that mold was holy, then yeah. I'd say so. There we go! There we go! Fish on! Fish! Just like Jeremy Wade used to say. Fish on! Fish on! Look at that green jello bobber just going all out right now. I think we got ourselves a uh, blue cat. He's uh he's kind of spunky. Spunky blue cat. Come here, you spunky blue cat. So, uh, after we get this guy in, we're only gonna need two on the sour bread, so we'll have to switch. There we go. Blue cat. 24 pounds. 23.5. Gosh dang it. So close. How many girls I can get? Zero. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Barrel. You're a funny guy. You have never been car fishing at Lenny. Well, what the heck, man? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? How have you not? How have you not? Everyone has. All right, we're putting sour bread out here. This is the magic spot. This is where we've been catching all of the, all of our fish, pretty much. It's like we've caught a few out by that deep spot, but the majority of fish I feel like we've we've caught right here. All right, everyone, two more on the sour bread. Let's go. Now the whole gang's here. <laughs> Where is Cat? Someone had said Cat earlier. Your boy must grab gamer. Oop, be right back. <laughs> Yeah, good, 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 good move there, Zazu. Oh, she's busy with schoolwork. Okay, understandable. Whole body's tingly, and I think it's the caffeine. Could be. I remember the first time I had a, a bang energy drink. Oh my god, I was jittery. That was bad. I never, I never drank another bang after that. I was like, nope, that is 
That's bad for your system. I'm like jittery right now. <laughs> so many people skip their schoolwork to watch both live stream. That is some true fans. Very true. But uh, either do it while you watch or, or don't watch. <laughs> do the schoolwork. That's what matters. Come on, guys. Oh, gosh. Are you serious right now? That's how you grab the right pull right there. You grab the wrong pull and then you switch it out with the correct pull. Just trying to teach you some uh, some veteran moves here. There we go. Another one on the sour bread. There we go. One to go. One to go, everyone. A30. You been hunting bow? No, I haven't. Nope. Nope, it's crazy how if you live in the middle of Kansas City, you can't hunt too much. Got squirrels in my backyard. See a rabbit every once in a while. Uh, I will say the last thing I hunted was a, uh, a wild Norwegian wood rat that uh, got into our house. Um, and was crawling around all of our pots and pans. And I went to grab the lighter out of the drawer, and I saw this big rat tail hanging out. And then uh, Zachary and I hunted it with a pellet gun. That's the last thing I hunted, just to give you a quick little story there. By G Fuel. No, I want to... Well, G Fuel, actually, I've had G Fuel before, and I actually did like it. Um, Monster would be cool. If, I could get, if we could get sponsored by Monster, that would be neat. Talking about the fish after she come on the fish lure on my name tag. Ah. Special. Very cool, Megan. You did what to that rat? You already know this story, you silly goober. That if she ever had no drink, she would to the moon. <laughs> So when's the last time you've had one, Squish? You stick to coffees? Pumpkins at houses at Lone Star Lake walked up to them and it said interact, so I press E and it gave me a bat wing as a reward. <gasps> you got a bat wing? <gasps> oh my gosh. Jackson Upton, why don't you play Hunting Sim 2? Uh, because uh, I don't find it fun, to be honest. Um... Is that the answer you were wanting? <laughs> I find it as a, uh, a pretty shallow game. Uh, and in comparison to the Hunter Call of the Wild, it's probably uh, from a 1 being uh, a mobile hunting game and a 10 being the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, the Hunting Simulator 2 is probably a 5.5 and a half or a 5. And, uh, and I just don't have time to really spend on it, honestly. Um, because I'm doing my Halloween, my Halloween stuff for Fishing Planet at the moment. And the only other Halloween thing that's going on with the games I'm playing is the Werewolf event on Hunter Classic. Which we will play at some point. Uh, probably after the 28th. Pew, pew, pew. Nothing like falling in love over fishing. So true. Just like me and my fiance. <laughs> That's like some of the first dates my fiance and I went on. We would go back to her hometown and go fishing for catfish. It was a great time. It's a great date. I mean, you sit out there together waiting for a fish to grab your bobber or, you know, got a little, you got your rod out there waiting for a fish to go by with some, some yummy chicken liver. Everyone loves some chicken liver. Now I'm going to have sour mares. Get it? We only need sour bread. <laughs> it's very true. We do need sour bread. Brian Johnson is back. Good deal. How are you doing today? TNS Fire Gaming. We're doing pretty well, man. We, uh, we only need one more fish. It's not a great time to be fishing at all. But we only need one fish, and so I'm I'm willing to hang on. It's 8.45. We have 45 minutes left. We have one candle end, which means that after we get this book, once we get this witch book, 
we can move on to Emerald Lake and try our hand at a kayak race. Which I'm pretty excited about. That's that's plan number two. If we get the book, then we move on to the kayak race. Kayak race. Don't find fun is people eating their own finger. Oh my gosh. Bay, are you on another level? What? What are you talking about? When is the mobile game coming out? I mean, it's already out in many other countries. It just hasn't come out. It hasn't come out yet in the United States, which is frustrating. I can't find them. Gosh darn. Les Catfish needs to hurry up. I want to see Doggo. I agree. I want to as well. Come on. Gosh, we got nibbles there. We just need one fish. That's all we need. I'm Rambo's fishing for alligator gar, right on. And Brian Johnson is musky fishing. Very cool. Musky fishing is pretty fun. Usually I end up catching a lot of pike, but it's still pretty fun. Never heard of a fishing day before. Planning on starting YouTube channel for fishing in real life fishing plan. Any tips? Man, just get used to uh, not having a lot of people comment on your stuff. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes you 30 videos or so just to get people to notice you. Um, get Photoshop. Here we go. Here we go. Get Photoshop so that you can uh, start doing uh, thumbnails and whatnot. Here we go. You're going to do musky fishing in real life. Okay. Here we go. There we go. The last channel catfish. Hey. There we go! We got the witching recipe book. $6,660. Time to search for the ingredients and brew the summoning potion. Ooh, the summoning potion. We did get a one-day pass for San Joaquin. Meh, I don't, I don't really need it, but okay. Seven bait coins is okay, though. That's all right. Uh, if you spent 20 bait coins getting the bait to go fishing here, then you would have just made back seven, so that's all right. And we got our day pass and the witching recipe book. That is awesome. I see there's a little fish tail in there marking a page. That's pretty funny. That's a cool detail. Vein line? Whoa, that is one tricky recipe. Looks like you're in for a real scavenger hunt and plenty of fishing adventures to collect all the necessary items for brewing the Frankenfish summoning potion. As soon as you got all of the magic ingredients, according to the witching recipe book, find the witching cauldron on San Joaquin and brew the potion of summoning. Interesting, okay. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Find the witching cauldron on San Joaquin. Add the bunch of mandrake roots to the cauldron. Oh my god, look at all this stuff we just got. Black vampire fin. We need to catch 13 black vampire guards using rotten minnows? Holy shoot, man. Albino yeti gr gills. Catch them using pig's eyes. Look, it just, it just keeps popping up new new missions for us. Green Ogre Scales. We need to catch 13 Green Ogre Gars. Add the Heron. Ghost Essence. Oh my god, this is so much stuff, you guys. Ghost Essence. We need to catch Ghost Pikes using all of this stuff. Bluegill Skeleton Tails at a St. Croix. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. There is so much stuff to do. Equip the roach spoon. Travel to the Everglades. Wait for midnight. Quit the road and catch keep bowfins after midnight. Okay. For a jar of, of bowfin fish eyes. Travel to Falcon. Mandrake roots on trout lair. Gather mandrake roots on a bridge of logs. 
Gather mandrake roots from mountain watcher. Interesting. They will glow in the dark. Okay, so we, maybe we just pick them up off the ground? I'm not sure. And then we put this all together to um, brew the potion of summoning and get this vein line. Oh my god, dude. That is so much stuff. That is crazy. Alright. Well, now that we have all that out of the way. Um, yeah. We do have this, though. Uh, scary kayaking at Emerald. This was something I wanted to do before the end of the stream, so we definitely have enough time to do it. Sorry, I was looking over the chat right now. Anyway, okay, top notch. Co, we need to go to Emerald Lake and interact with the Scarecrow at night. Okay, let's give it a go. Well, it's it's been real. It's been real, Quanchkin Lake. Thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. He tastes like you, only sweeter. All this before Halloween is over. Come on, Fishing Planet, make it easy for BZ. <laughs> I'm gonna really have to uh, try pretty hard. Usually I don't get much time to play, but I'll have to try and put some time behind. You know, times that I was gonna spend with my fiance or spend with my family, I'll just have to say, no, 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 no. You don't understand, I have to play a video game. Video game family, what? What? JK. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go to Emerald Lake now. I don't know if we need a Oh, I already have I have an unlimited license anyway. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Oh, there's a QR code right here. I've never scanned that QR code on the uh on the dealio. That's right. Alright, everyone. Let me switch the time to nighttime and then and then we'll I'll go get King Bjorn. I, I did make you guys I I made you guys wait okay it's I uh, I understand ooh look at that skeleton sweets for thirty three bay coins interesting okay top notch let's change the time need to do that do you think that a core i five should be good enough to run fishing planet. I think it'd be enough to run it at low low quality, at least. I would hope, anyway. I'm not sure. They did do a pretty big optimization thing earlier. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'd be good, man. Let's go. All right, it's nighttime. Oh, the scarecrow. Oh, spooky, man. They always are making weird noises at you. We got a jawbone. Okay. <laughs> Got a jawbone, okay. Right on. Oh, go away. All right, here is the spooky scarecrow. <laughs> Getting some screenshots. Never know when it's gonna come in handy. Look at that over there. Oh, it makes noise! Listen to that! Or is this the music? I can't tell if this is the jack o' lantern or not. Okay, here we go, everyone. Give me, give me a second, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna put on the commercial for you to watch. Hey, you. Yes, you! Did you know that BZ Hub now has memberships here on YouTube? That's right! For only $1.99 a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed! More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you'll also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. 
For those of you with that cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! Alright. <laughs> Get up here! <laughs> oh boy! Oh. Sorry, he's gotta, he's gotta eat his treat real quick. Triceratops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, got ya. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Are you a Triceratops, Bornison? Do you have a little caveman riding on top of you? What do you think? You love this costume or what? It doesn't really fit you anymore. You kind of outgrew it. <laughs> Golly. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that poor caveman. Yeah? What do you think? What do you think, buddy? Ugh. Oh well. Whoa, might be zoomed in too much. <sighs> He's pretty cute though, right? Everyone likes your caveman born. Everyone likes him. He's nice. Yeah. costume okay enough of Bjorn enough of Bjorn <sighs> let's do this let's do this kayak thing come here buddy I'll take it off you <laughs> come here yeah. ah. there we go there there you're free now You okay from Bjorn attacking you? Yes, I healed up well, can't you tell? Alright, sacrifice all the items you found to begin the terrifying pumpkin race. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I need to do. <laughs> Chase the Wheeze. Look at those pumpkins bobbing in the water. You need to destroy them so they won't scare the anglers. Smash the pumpkins by driving your kayak through them, but keep track of time. All right. All right. 
unfortunately, we have to rent this kayak. Go! Row your boat gently down this lake. Got it. Take that, jack-o'-lantern. Another one, eaten by the alligator. All right, we've gotten we've gotten three so far. My uh, poor Hino's arms are just ready to fall off at the moment. Only thirty minutes left. We have a minute forty. Wait, we have five. We need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Row, Hino, row. Row, Hinel, row! Row with all your might! Hinel, go! Need three more! He's, he's so out of energy right now, but we're just forcing him to row. We, need, we have one minute to get these three pumpkins. I think we can totally do it. Row, Hinel, row! Last two! Last two! Go! Keep it going, Enil! What, to the left or to the right? I think we should go to the right. Go! Row, Enil! Last one! Get it! Get it! Oh, we totes, we totes got this. Totes got this in the bag. Boom! Emerald terrifying pumpkin race. Done. Donezo. Boom, boom, shakalaka. The scary kayaking at Emerald Lake. We got the pumpkin bobber, and we got one day pass at Quanchkin, Quanchkin Lake. We we probably should have done this. That way, I didn't have to pay the four thousand dollars or whatever. Nice. All right, we did it. We did it. It would be amazing for them to add Bjorn to the call of wild. I agree. I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll like me enough. <laughs> we got another candle end. Yes. And a spooky gravestone. A vulture claw. Okay. Okay. Um, I saw another jack o' lantern over. Oh, no, that's not. That's not a jack o' lantern. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there's jack o' lanterns over there, though. Okay. 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 I see you. It's a spooky moon today. Will attack you like it did Bo exactly. You tell him. You tell him, Evan. I'm Rambo. Just got a seventy pound gar right on, man. Hey, good night, Tony Bamberger. Six hundred and sixty-six gold. That's right. We got six thousand six hundred and sixty gold at the last place. Did Bjorn actually attack you, Bo? Uh, I mean, he attacked me as much as he always attacks me. Pretty much any time you play with Bjorn, he's attacking you. Can we get in over here? Is this a possibility? Ah, Jesus, a freaking scary man. Or do we have to run around? Will you let me up here? Fine. Forget you. I don't even. I don't even want to go up there anymore. Just kidding. I do. Sitting here watching BZ and eating a piece of homemade apple pie. Life couldn't be better. Bro, life could be better. You could send me a piece of that apple pie. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, we ran out of ha Halloween music again. Scary podcasts? Scary podcasts? These are seasonal? These are not seasonal.
Oh, I think that was the last one, unfortunately. We're going to go back to the beginning. All right, here we go. How's the fishing? I mean, it was really good, but then we had to stop and go kayaking. Because <laughs> that's how Fishing Planet works. It's not all about the fishing. You have to be good at kayaking, too. Fish just jumped in front of us. Have a good night, Bo. Hey, take care, Sharon. Rowing, looking for the spot to get up onto the bank. Where is the spot to get up on the bank? Where are you? I know there's a spot to get up on the bank. Now I'm freezing. Good lure for spotted bass. Uh, good old casting spoon has always done me well. But honestly, uh, I mean, lots of, pretty much any bass lure will work for them. Use a pedal boat too. Hey, right on. Vance Campbell, how's it going? We're uh, we're looking for the spot to get up on the bank here so we can get some spooky jack-o'-lanterns. And then we're going to look at what we need to go for next, basically. But yeah, I've been looking to uh, get get a uh, kayak for a while now. What CPU do I have? I have an R, R, R7 something or other. If you, uh, if you go down to any description of any BZ Hub video, I believe there's a link to all of my uh, computer stuff. I think anyway. Pretty sure. How do I get on this freaking bank, man? Hello, pumpkin. Pumpkin, I want you. I feel like I've definitely been on this op on this bank before. I just can't find the the place to get up there. Go ashore. Go ashore. Forget this. I don't even want to do it anymore. Forget it. Doesn't even matter. You gotta go straight ahead. Man, I went across- I went all along that bank waiting- looking for an opening. I never found one. Okay, let's look at the missions right now. Scary kayaking at Falcon. We could go do that. Bring a noose. We don't have a noose yet. A skull bobber. Interesting. Okay. A uh, bunch of mandrake roots. Well, there's there's a bunch of stuff that we could do at Falcon. Let's go to Falcon. We're just going to travel there. We can buy a license afterwards if we want to, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure we can. What's on the front of the kayak? Yeah, Gator Skull. I have to do a Halloween drive through with my friend. Well, right on, man. Ooh, a spooky scarecrow. Spooky. Where are the jack o' lanterns? Not over here, evidently. So how do we get the mandrake roots? Do we have to, like... 
Maybe we get them by uh, snagging this stuff right here. Do I have anything that we can snag it with? I don't think I do. We'll just throw a pea in here. We'll see if we can snag this this stuff. Dang it. On the ground, turn off your flashlight and look for glowing stuff. Oh, okay. Well, just in case it was that you have to get snagged, I totally did it. I'm so good at that. Okay, so we have to... We have to look for glowing stuff now with the flashlight off. Let's see. Oh! Oh! We found... Oh, we found a gravestone. We found a slimy crank! 12 foot! 6 odd hook! That's awesome! Sweet! Yes! Halloween! Hashtag Halloween. This is hashtag Halloween. Do do do. Do you fish in the winter or are you froze over? We could technically fish in the winter. Um, it doesn't get so cold. I mean, sometimes it does. Uh, I, I can't really. I'd say, like, deeper out... I'm sure it has something to do with the depth as well. But I'd say deeper out in the, uh... In the open water, it stays... It stays, uh... Not frozen. Unfrozen. Whatever you want to say. But, uh, in shallower water, it seems to freeze over. So I'm supposed to be looking for glowing stuff, right? You might have to track the mission because you're looking exactly where I found mine. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe that's what we're not doing right. Bunches of mandrake roots. Bunches of mandrake roots. We found a frog. Frogs. Frogs are spooky. Spooky, scary frogs. I see a gravestone over there. Dr. Gravestone. I can take a 15 minute break to watch the rest of the stream. Hey, right on, man. We're uh, currently searching for mandrake roots. Old Bo is a uh, retired hunting streamer with the eyesight of an eagle but he cannot spot mandrake roots to save his life. It's in the mid-teens, but not too cold for me to fish. Hey, right on. Spooky. We got a skull jig. One and a half ounce, six odd hook. Dang, man. That's awesome. Wonder if we use that with the uh, spider. That spider lure we got. Spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure why the mandrake roots aren't showing up. Let's, um, so we need to go to Trout's, Trout Lair, right? Trout Lair. We also need to go to Bridge of Logs, right? Let's see. On a Bridge of Logs, uh, Trout Lair, and Mountain Watcher. Let's go to, uh, Bridge of Logs. Man, I, I don't know. Cheyenne Martin, try midnight. Oh, okay, we have to switch to midnight. Is that what it says? Oh, in the midnight. You're right, Cheyenne. Thank you for that. Golly, I was not paying attention. Hey, okay, maybe if I just looked at the freaking quest there, huh? Maybe I'd actually learn something. Oh, I see glowy. <gasps> I see glowy stuff. Let's go. Glowy stuff. 
flowy stuff. Yes. Mandrake Groot. One down, two to go. Glow, okay, glowy stuff. Everyone pay attention for glowy stuff. I realize by the time you comment, you won't be able, <gasps> here we go. By the time you co comment, it won't matter, but uh, it's the principle, principle of the thing. The other one is probably on the other side. What do you think? Oh, Mandrake Root. Oh, this is on the Mountain Watcher side, so we already went too far. Let's go over here. Okay, 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 okay. So this is where we just were. We're good. Glowy stuff. Glowy stuff. Mandrake Root. There we go. Need one more. There we go. So freaking good at this. Yes. Let's go. Get on my level fishing planet. Doodle 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 doodle. Find the Drake roots he nil. The glowy stuff. There it is. Found you. All right, now we just need the mandrake roots at the trout lair. Trout lair. Where do we go? The trout lair. Trout lair. Oh, nope, that's not glowy stuff. Okay. False alarm. False alarm. It's the boy who cried mandrake root. Or glowy stuff. One or the other. Mandrake. Boom, boom. Two to go. I feel like we already ran past one. We have to. We have to have ran past one already. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Found one. Take that, Mandrake. Okay, there's one more. <gasps> Found it. Let's go. Bunches of Mandrake roots. Boom, boom. Uh, got ya. Close. All right, so we've gotten one thing. We're, we're cruising right along, everyone. Uh, we still need to catch lots of fish. We need to use a vulture claw hook to catch albino yeti gars using the pig's eye. Okay. And we need to catch uh, bowfins as well. Using the roach spoon. Okay. All right, all right. Good deal. Gosh dang it, I can't believe we don't have a, a noose yet. Then we could do the, uh, the racing here. Don't have it though. Firewolf Gaming, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing just fine. We've been cruising right along in this Halloween stuff, haven't we? Monks MC and Samantha Cooper. Hello, hello. Jaden Taylor is here as well. Top notch. All right, so we got the Mandrake roots from Falcon Lake. We unfortunately don't have a noose yet, so we can't do that. Um... Probably have to rearrange. So for Gar, let's see. What should we do? We have titanium later on that. So that's good. We need to, what do we need for the albino Yeti Gar? We need pig's eyes and vulture hooks. Vulture hooks and pig, pig eyes. So vulture hook, do we only have one vulture hook? Aw. No, we, we probably, oh wait, we got eagle claws. Vulture claws, okay, we're good. We're good, guys. Okay, so Vulture Claw. Um, let's put a Vulture Claw on this one as well. And that'll be our... Our two going for the Gar. We also need Pig Eyes. Pig Eye. Pig Eye. We have lots of Pig Eyes. 
Goodness gracious, do we have pig eyes. How many pig eyes do we have? Lots of them. That's how many. Um, I'm also gonna do, let's see. The purple bat. Ooh, spooky. Oh, never mind. That's not the right one. <laughs> gonna do the purple bat. Never mind. Never, I don't want to. Um, the skele hand is a match rod too. I wish you could. Um, uh, what is it called when um, you can funnel what you want? So I don't want to use. I could. I could search for spinning rods, and it would hide all of the match rods and telescopic rods and all that. We'll use this. Okay, so 19.8 there. We have a 19.8 drag reel as well. Do do do. Bo bo bo. Braid. Get a titanium leader. Or the bowfin teeth. The teethers. 18.7. That's not. Yeah, that'll be perfect actually. Okay. Um, and we need the roach, the roach spoon. Do we have a roach spoon? Because if we don't, that could really throw us in a bind. Hmm. We have slimy cranks. Hmm. It's not good, everyone. We need to find the, uh, the roach spoon. The roach spoon. Maybe we get it if we go to the Everglades. It's still on Lone Star Lake. Hey, right on, Ranger Wire. That works. I want to see fly fishing. I want to see fly fishing, too. I would love to see fly fishing. Yeah. I right, wish you luck. Hey, right on, Firewolf. Good luck. <sighs> All right, 922 here. Let's see. We don't have a roach spoon, but I think we should probably go to the Everglades and see if we can get ourselves a roach spoon. We do have what we need for the gar anyway, so that's good. Give it a go. What do you think there, sleepy dog? King Bjorn? Cowboy is out! Catch you later. Hey, sounds good, man. We've got seven minutes left, everyone, and we're gonna see what we can catch here at Everglades. Uh, I'm gonna change the time here in a second. I don't, I don't remember seeing anything in the mission details about changing the time to nighttime, but I'm guessing so. I forgot to change it to a private. All right. Jesus. Shut up. Got a candle end. That's something. Um, I guess we should just probably just go to every one of these. Pumpkins! What? Can't go any further that way? Pumpkin! Ooh, gravestone! Please give me a roach spoon! Batwing! Ugh! Roach spoon! Blade spinner! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Need a roach spoon. Please be another thing over here. Please. Ah! No. We need a roach spoon. All right, whatever. I guess we're going to go after the albino yeti gar. Oh. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change the time. We'll fish at night, just for funsies. 9 p.m. For five more minutes. You're sitting in a tripod and call the wild. Right on. I've always caught some pretty good gar over here. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh. 
Ooh, spooky eyes. There we go. Throw that down there. And I think the other one's float rod. That's right. How much did this drop down? Uh, okay. I don't remember. Hopefully this is good. We'll just throw it out and see. With the depth of 15 inches, Jack Savala says. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is a good, a good point. I've caught, I've caught unique uh, gar out of both places. If we don't catch anything here in two minutes, we'll switch on over to the other place and fish for two minutes there. We'll give them both a shot. How about that? Keegan White, Keegan the White. Do, do, do. We ran out of music yet again. Do, bo, 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 bo. How do we run out of music so fast? It's crazy. For me, how about you? Um, I said it a little while ago. It's it's 9:27 now, though. Let's all just focus on fishing, everyone. How about that? Or I'll make you all hold hands digitally. What do we got here, everyone? Woo! Good night. Boy, we've got something here. Woo. It is putting up a bit of a fight. Jalen Morgan, how's it going? It is pulling us out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it surfaced there. Goodness. Trying to catch an albino gar here, everyone. <laughs> we had him at 70, 70 feet, and now I'm having to be a moderator. I'm losing him.
Oh golly, now the other one's going. I love the sound of beeping. The beeping is my favorite part. Yes! Let's go! Look at this dude! A 50 pound albino yeti gar! That is awesome. Sorry, we're just gonna have to listen to some beeping for a little bit here, guys. There we go. It timed out. Right on! Penel, what do we think about this guy? That is sweet. <laughs> that is awesome. <sighs> Albino Yeti Gar to end it, everyone. We got one. We still need to catch 12 more. That is crazy. Anywho, there we go. $1,700, 264 experience with this old rod here. Um, fantastic. 12 more to go, but that's going to do the end of the stream, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Love the videos jig stick thing says. Thank you so much, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just about over. Very true. So anyway, thanks to you. Thank you all for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, has the same reaction as catching a bluegill. Very true. Very true. <laughs> all right. Take care, everyone. Um, look forward to the next couple of Halloween uh extravaganza videos everyone tomorrow i'll give you a hint tomorrow is the elder gar in the heron so look forward to that and um yeah it's gonna be pretty cool so uh we'll see you at the next stream i'm guessing we'll have to do another stream just to continue doing these halloween missions so we might get kind of lucky if you like these types of streams pay attention this weekend and we might continue uh doing this stuff my god my uh freaking Elio's outside of its frame. There we go. There we go. We're good now. Anywho, that's going to do it, everyone. Thank you all for being here. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family.